Hi guys, hi Hollywood, I'm Giselle Claudine, your host, and I'm here at the screening of the short movie Duke. And this movie will indeed touch your life. Well, this is a beautiful movie. Uh, I've had the pleasure of seeing it. Uh, it's going to move you, it's going to inform you. Uh, it's very empowering. Uh, Duke is a remarkable young man. Very emotional, a film that I hold very close to my heart. I really love the subject with social impact. So many people are not aware or that are involved in other people's lives. And I hope that we can make it a feature one day. Oh my God, it's been a blessing and a privilege, absolutely. Really didn't know a whole lot about autism and now I feel like I've entered into a whole new world of understanding and compassion. And I was really emotional tonight and I think I'll be emotional every time I see this film. I had seen some of Tiago's work before, I saw Chocolat. So I knew that I was in for something special, and Robert and Piercy, their performances in particular, were amazing. Amazing, yeah. I agree. Are you okay? Yeah, yes, of course. <clears throat> I was just thinking. Really nice to have Duke here, uh, real life Duke, and for him to see that there is a wide audience now watching his story. There was a time where no one was listening, or that he wasn't able to communicate. And so now to see him in an audience full of people watching his story and reading the words that he typed, it's amazing. I mean, it's great. It's what you would hope most films do. Can you write your name, please? Mm. Okay, one more try. Uh, I was so nervous, but it was so rewarding to see everybody so happy to love the film, and especially Duke as well. They meant the most to see them so happy. Um, and it was a great experience. I'm happy to be here. He was literally watching me in person play him, uh, <laughs> which was, that, that was probably the most scary part of it all. Even if everybody else hated it, as long as Duke and his family, who we told the story for, as long as they loved it, that's just what makes me happy. Are you excited about the future version of the Duke? Oh my God, yes. It was, it was a really good experience. He allowed us so much time to work and get to really know our characters and work together as, as actors and we had a whole rehearsal process, which is really rare. And Tiago allowed us to have that, so it was really great. The amount of material you get gave me, that made this project unique. Because I've never worked on a film before, and I've been an actor for a long time, but where I've been given this kind of material, and it was just like, oh, it was gold. I don't personally know the family that it's based on. You're brought into their life in such a true and natural way. And it was just so beautiful and inspiring. So where do you get your inspiration from? Oh. I feel like every time I read a script, it's a new thing. First, I found love the characters, and I really care about each one of them. Looking the big screen is as I feel like we did it. How do you feel about having a movie made about your son? I feel really honored, and Duke feels really proud that he can spread the word about the typing because it's important to have a voice. Have you actually ever imagined that your son's story would become a movie? No, no, no. And um, the funniest part about it all is when I asked him, is it okay if we make a movie about you? He thought about it and then he typed, well, it will be awkward, but I'll do it. He loves the movie. He thinks it's great. It's still most of the people in the world don't believe it's actually happening. Even people in my own family aren't sure sometimes. Is it you doing it? Especially when they don't like what he says. <laughs> did you write that or did he? I'm like, <laughs> but now Duke's got a lot to say. We really choose something that touch us first and we spend the time that we need to go in the right way. And that was the same with Chocolate and it's the same with Duke. Now it's about a year and a half that I have been working in this project. The more kids that can communicate, I mean, the simplest thing I recently asked him was, oh my God, what's your favorite color? I didn't know. And he said red, and I was like, oh my God, and I buy you everything blue. 
He's got red pants on today, though. One of the most difficult parts about doing a short film is to try and display all the different aspects that you really want to have in the film, to condense it in 17 minutes or 18 minutes, portray all the different elements that you want to. So that's why he's like chewing at the bit or biting at whatever the expression is to make it into a feature and start from the time of the realization that the child may have something. Dan Tiago, just an incredible and drew, an incredible film. Wonderful performances by the actors. Dude, what a special young man you are. Do you want to tape with me?